All right, so I'm going to show you guys a little piece from my childhood. Okay, raise your hand if you've ever heard of a Pokemon trading card game. Oh, I thought. A few people, a few people. So uh, let me explain a little bit, right? So I first started playing Pokemon back when I was like seven years old. All the kids at school loved it. So uh, the way that it works is we'd go to the we go to the card shop, the trading card shop, and we'd get one of these. This is a little booster pack. Inside of the booster packs came with different Pokemon cards, right? So the idea was to try to collect the rare cards. So some cards are rarer than others. So let me show you some of the different cards that would come in the game. You'd have the uh, Pokemon cards, that's like the character cards, right? Uh, you'd have the energy cards, those are the ones that give the, the Pokemon powers, abilities, so they can attack and things like that. You'd have support cards like trainers. But the one card, when I was a kid, that everyone was after was this one here. Ooh, this is the rare holographic Charizard card. Now even to this day, if you were to go on eBay right now and look up the price of this card, these are going on eBay for like two, three hundred dollars right now. This is the card to get. In fact, you've never seen seven-year-olds, you know, try to stab each other in the back as much as someone that's trying to get your Charizard card. Like, uh, for example, um, one of the less uh, valuable cards, one of my friends would try to trade me that card for my Charizard card. But what I learned was I could outsmart them, not by having one Charizard but by having two rare holographic Charizards. Now I actually didn't have two, I actually made two. Watch, well, I'll do it again. We'll use this energy card here, right? And I'll let you tr uh, check for yourself. It's not gonna change or anything like that. And you can check the back. It doesn't just like rub off or anything. No. But if I take that energy card and pass it through the two Charizards, I can actually get a third rare holographic Charizard, leaving me with three. But I can actually do it again. We use two cards this time. I'll leave one on the top and one on the bottom. If I just pass the Charizard through like this, not only do I get one, but I get two rare holographic Charizards. And I don't want you to think that this is just a figment of your imagination. You can touch it gently, please. <laughs> well, Very $300, gently. I'm certainly right? not gonna. And we have just a few, we have just a few cards left, right? Would you mind to go ahead and put that card right back there? Like that? Very nice, yes. And uh, I'm actually gonna give you this trainer card. Would you hold out your hand for me? That would, I would be the right person for a trainer. It's gonna, I'm actually, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have you pinch oh, the card like just like this. Pinch because what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna rub the face of the card and you're gonna do the change yourself, okay? So hold it very gently. All right, just a few cards left. We'll go ahead and give it a little rub there. Perfect, go ahead and look at that card for me, please. You change it into a rare holographic Charizard, but not only that card, in fact, you're able to change every single one. Wow.